everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. I'm so excited to have you here today and before we get started, be sure that you're following me over on Instagram. If you are, you would have seen the little reel for how to do this project that we're going to do, but I'm going to go over every step for it for this one because it's really fun, it's a cool product and I think you're really going to enjoy it. You can find me at Corinne underscore Blackstone Crafts. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put Foil on a shirt. This is StarCraft Electrofoil, and I'm going to show you how to work with this product. It's so fun, so shiny, and it's a really cool product. It's really super soft, and I absolutely love it. So let's get started. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. I'm using a bundle that I got from Design Bundle, so I wanted to show you how to extract it after you download. So what you'll have is this folder here, and this is called your zipped folder, meaning that all of the files are compressed to make them a smaller file size for downloading purposes. So what you'll do is over in this extracted folder, you'll click extract all, and then all you simply have to do is click extract. There's not a whole lot of work involved in this, but this can take a moment to extract all the files, especially if there are a lot of them. Once it's extracted, mine opens up my folder and you'll notice the difference is I don't have that pink line up here anymore. So what I do is I close the folder that has the pink line because I'm going to pull my design from this folder here. Now, in order to see a preview of what the images look like, if the designer has a PNG file in it, all I do is I right click and I view and then I just view large icons and it's going to show me what the different designs look like. So it's going to be a little bit easier for me to choose the design that I want. Now, I want the one that says um, shell. Yeah, I think it said I can't remember exactly the wording. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of scroll down and find the one that has the little shell. Yeah, shell. Yeah, this is the one I want, which is this file right here called shell. Yeah, SVG. So in design space, all I have to do is click upload and click upload image and then click browse. Now from here, I can either find my file by going through all that stuff or instead of hitting browse, just go back to the folder that you had open. And you can simply drag and drop your design. So you want to use the one that is the SVG, which might show as an HTML document, and that's totally okay. But I'm going to go ahead and grab it, drag it, and drop it. Now the best part about this is I don't have to do anything. I can just click Upload, and then it'll go into my recently uploaded images. From here, I just select that image and click Add to Canvas. Now you can of course do this with any design that you want to for the foil, but we're gonna use this adorable little shell yeah, cause I thought it would be really cute, really fun. And with the shine, it's so beachy and super fun. So you wanna resize this first. That's what I like to do. I kind of figure out about how big I want it to go. And I usually put mine on an adult large. So usually about 10 inches is where I wanna go. But because this one is taller than it is wide, I will typically go a little bit larger. I'll usually go about 8.7 wide and it'll be a little bit tall, but that's okay with a design like this because it's made to be kind of a fun design, a little bit taller, really cute. Now I am gonna show you something before we do anything else. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click make it because the way that they set up a lot of SVGs, you're gonna see that you end up with this happening. See how it put my seashell and my word shell and then the yeah on a completely different page. Super weird, we don't want it to do that. So I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm gonna show you how to fix that because it should never have done that in the first place. It all will fit on one and you want it to stay in the same um, like setup that it is. Now I will say I do notice that this SVG has a strange little dot. So in order to stop it from cutting that little dot that we don't need, I'm just gonna hide it with this little eyeball icon here. And it's not gonna affect anything, you can't even see it. It's just something that maybe when the designer did it, they missed a spot. It's okay, it happens, but I'm just gonna hide it. Now you have a couple of options. You can select your entire design and use attach. That's gonna hold it all in place. You can also, under combine, you can either use weld or unite. Now the cool thing with Unite is if I do that, I can undo it at a later time if I wanted to do these in different colors. But for this one, since we're just doing one single color, Attach is perfectly fine. Because now you'll notice that when I hit Make It, it is going to put it all on just that one screen so it's perfect, good to go. Now of course, we wanna make sure that we mirror our design. So you wanna select Mirror right here under your mat. 
Now, if you're like me and super untrusting of Design Space, what I'm going to do is let me hit cancel really quick. And I'm going to show you two little things that I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this and I'm going to flip it horizontally. I do this because I don't always trust Design Space to actually mirror my project. Now, there's one other thing that we can do and I'm going to show you because I think this will save a little bit more HTV. So you'll notice that I only have about an inch of HTV left here, but I have three inches over here and it's kind of an odd size to leave, especially for the Caesar Easy Weed adhesive that I'm using. Because typically when I do foil, I do larger designs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my design sideways. And by doing that, I'm gonna end up only wasting a little bit of an inch over on the side and I'll have more down here where it just makes more sense as a space of saving the HTV so that I don't end up like wasting much. It's just sort of something for me mentally that I find works better and wastes less at HTV, especially with adhesive. Because like I said, I don't do a lot of small pieces with adhesive. I usually do large designs like this when I'm doing foil designs. Now this easy weed adhesive cuts on the vinyl setting. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to work with. And then we can show you how to do the foil. It's a really fun technique and I'm so excited to do this. We're gonna be using a roll of the Caesar Easy Weed Adhesive, which is a really cool product. It's basically just the adhesive they put on to HTV. So what you'll see is you have a dull side and then you have a shiny side. This very shiny side is our carrier sheet and we wanna make sure that we place that side down onto our mat. So remember I told you that we wanna make sure that we turned that design and this is why, so that we're gonna save a lot more of the roll than we would if we did it the other way around. So I'm just gonna get that pressed onto my mat and load it into my machine. Now, like I said, this cuts on the everyday iron-on setting. It's a really, really fun product to use and it's super duper easy to work with. done cutting we can go ahead and unload I will trim this off and then I'll show you how to weed it now this is a pretty difficult product to see to weed with so I do recommend not doing this on a white surface it's really really hard to see on white so I try to do it on either like my table here or you can put it on top of like a black piece of cardstock helps and having a lot of light around you is gonna make a huge difference when it comes to weeding this this is a really fun product, but definitely takes some patience when it comes to weeding. Also, if you have a design that has a lot of intricate parts, have a photo of that design up so you can get a little better idea of what it should look like when you're done weeding. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this weeded. You don't weed this any different than you do any other uh, HTV product. You just peel away the parts that you don't want to stick on to your shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this weeded out and then I'm gonna show you how to apply it to the shirt and apply the foil. Once you've finished weeding it, you're going to figure out where your design is going to fit onto your shirt. So the first thing that I always do is I fold it in half and figure out where center is on the design. And I put a little crease in it and then I lay it on my shirt. I'm gonna go about three fingers down from the collar and then I just use my hands to figure out about where center looks like and that looks pretty good. I've got a little fuzz under there so let me get that off. And then I'm just gonna press this down. I think that looks pretty cute, pretty even. So we're good with that. Now before I press this, I wanna cut my foil. Your foil's gonna come on a roll and you're gonna see that it is very, very thin. One side will be colored and one side is gonna be like a silver or a white kind of color to it. You're going to want to cut this so that it fits over your design. Now I had a lot of people ask me, well, why do you cut the foil bigger than the design? And I do that just because A, I've got 25 feet of foil, so I have a lot of foil, so I'm not really worried about like using a little extra, but also I want to cut it bigger than the design because I want to make sure that my foil is going to cover everything without any 
issues without any problems. Now the foil, go ahead and set this over to the side. You wanna set it somewhere it's not gonna fall on the ground or anything like that. We're gonna first press the uh, HTV here, which is the Caesar Easy Weed. This is gonna press at 305 for about 12 seconds. We're ready to press the Caesar Easy Weed. So like I said, this presses at 305 degrees for about 12 to 15 seconds with a medium to firm pressure. I do have a pressing pillow under this to just help and enhance that pressure. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this down and we're gonna press this for just about 12 to 15 seconds. Now that that's done, go ahead and pull that up. Now this is a medium warm peel, so I usually do let this kind of cool down just for a few moments before I do peel it up. I find that that works a little bit better for me than peeling it right away, and then we're gonna peel this off. Now it may look like there's really nothing on the shirt. You may see a little shine, but it isn't going to look very colorful. It actually looks pretty cool by itself sometimes, and I've seen people use it on like black shirts, and it looks pretty fun. Now what I wanna do is allow this to cool a little bit before I place my foil on. So I'm just gonna kinda redo this, make sure it's on the pressing pillow really well. I do wanna allow this to cool for a pretty decent amount of time. I usually go for a couple minutes. That's gonna make it so that the adhesive and the foil can really adhere a little bit better. Now the foil presses anywhere between 280 and 305 degrees for about 12 seconds. Now I like to just keep it at 305, that just seems to work best for me, but you may need to try a few different settings before you get it right. Now we're ready to place our foil down, so remember, it's important to make sure that your entire design is fully covered by the foil. That's why I like to cut it a little bit larger than our design. So I just want to look around, make sure that there's none of our design coming out from the sides. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and press this again for about 12 seconds at 305. Now that I've pressed this, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up, and it's super important that you don't pull up your foil right now. We want to allow our foil to fully cool before we take the foil off. So what I tend to do is I'm going to turn my heat press off, I'm going to allow this to cool over here for a few minutes, and then I'll move it over to the table to remove the foil. I've let this cool completely like it is cold to the touch. That's really important with foil. Now, what you want to do is hold your shirt down and I usually just put my hand on my shirt. You wanna grab a corner of your foil. This is another reason to make your foil bigger than the design because you have a bigger piece to grab. The next thing you're gonna do is rip it off just like a Band-Aid super quickly. So you just wanna take it and go and off it comes. So now you have this really fun, pretty and sparkly shirt. Now I got a lot of questions as to well, why would I use foil over using something like holographic HTV or the foil HTV? Well, a lot of reasons, this is really super soft. It is incredibly soft. You can see how well it kind of folds up and it is super, super shiny. This also comes in a ton of great colors and finishes. There are lots of like holographics and patterns and things like that that you can use. Plus, it's just a super fun thing to do. I just really prefer the foil over a lot of those heavier HTVs, and I just think it is so fun, so pretty, and look at how shiny that is. So shiny, so fun. So if you guys have any questions about working with foil on t-shirts or anything else, let me know, because you can really use this on a lot of things, and I will put my foil playlist linked down below for you guys, as well as all of the products that we used for this video. I will give you direct links for those. This is such a really, really fun product, really fun to do. I love working with foil, and like I said, it does take a little bit of practice, but once you get it, it's super great. If you guys have any questions about this or any other crafts, please let me know in those comments down below. I am always happy to answer those for you. Make sure that you have subscribed here on YouTube, that way you don't miss out on any of the fun, crafty content we have coming. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and as always, happy crafting! Oh,